You want me to clean? Then scat! Uh, I don't. Sleep now, old woman. Embrace the void. <laughs> sleep? I can't sleep now. There's too much to be done. And what's this void you're rambling on about? Okay, you're ruining the moment a little. Uh, you're supposed to be terrified and deeply impressed all at the same time. You are not going I to really sleep! I really get back to my duties. This fort isn't going to clean itself. You're not cleaning it! It's dirty, it's disgusting, it's covered in blood, and I'm here to murder... Could you please stay awake? I really must get back to my duties. <laughs> Just die then! Fine! I'll have your skull, and I'm having your sweet roll, and I'm rifling through your drawers. I got you a sweet roll, and beyond that, I do not want to discuss it. No, I don't. In fact, I want to get out of it right now. Who is actually paying for contracts on old okay, cleaners in rundown forts inhabited by bandits? I mean, what was the thinking there? Did they, did they think to themselves, I want that castle? Yes, I do. I want a rundown fort, but it's currently inhabited by bandits. I know. If I have the cleaner killed, all the bandits will wake up the next day and say, My God, this place is disgusting. Disgusting I'm not living here and wander off. I'm just... I'm not going to think about it. I got the job done. Let's get out of here and, well, focus on the main event, which is, of course, locating the gentleman near Dragon's Bridge. I think, though, we will spend the night in Whiterun. It is dark. My friend, do you mind if I ask you something? As long as it's not about the last job, sure. Okay. Langley is a very interesting man. He knows a lot about me, and there is a great deal of evidence that his visions usually come to pass. Uh. All that said, we have only just met him. In your heart of hearts, do you think we can trust him? No, I don't, because you say he's got, like, a good track record for predicting things, but we only have his say-so on that, really, don't we? we? We don't actually know for sure. He could have just been following you around for ages, picking up information about you, making this elaborate plan. The question is why? What does he hope to get? It's not like you're stinking rich. You do have... A bow. Actually, you've got two bows. I've given you the Nightingale bow. But, you know, I suppose maybe he's after that. But this is still a hell of an elaborate uh, con if it's a con. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised if he has other motives for helping us. It is hard to tell what those other motives could be. I want to believe he is our ally, but your opinion is important to me. <sighs> I do think that he is mostly good, but perhaps we should be wary just in case. I appreciate your insight, my friend. There is something else I am compelled to mention. Okay, that's worrying. When you were outside getting those eggs, I told Langley about how you spared my life and my debt to you. He questioned my memory. He said my mind has been through a lot with the skooma, the grief, and the endless battles and so on. He suggested that maybe you are not the person I remember. Ah. Uh, that's ridiculous. We have a past together. I don't just remember. I just don't remember much. Yeah. <sighs> okay, Inigo. Look. I've sort of been saying this the entire time, and you've not really been listening. I mean, and I've just gave up. And this sort of goes against my nature, but seriously, I'm going to level with you. I'm not the person you think I am. What does Langley know anyway? 
He does not know you like I do. He does not know about our shared past. No, I will not entertain such a silly idea. I am not confused. I would know you anywhere. You are my friend. End of story. He is just jealous of our friendship. Pay okay. no mind. Anyway, that is all I wanted to say. Yeah. You don't want to listen, Let do you? Let us talk of other things. But, to be honest with you, look. We need to talk about who you think I am. To be honest, we do. Because at some point, you're going to realize I'm not the person you thought I was. And I want to know if it's going to change things. I want to know if it's going to change things. And I want to know why breakfast is jumping up and down. Is your knee hitting the table or something? No, look, seriously, Inigo, you're a friend. You really are. Love having you along. You're a ton of fun. But this friendship is a new one. Please, my friend, drop it for now. Maybe later. All right, okay, this, then, then, then. Yeah, any thoughts? I'm thinking that it is colder outside than it is in here. That is, that is very, very true. All right, well, it is time for bed, actually. It's, oh God, it's time to get up. I'm just gonna have a couple of hours sleep before we head off for solitude. I think we're going to solitude, aren't we? We might as well call in the museum and deliver this jug. It seems like such a, well, boring object. Good business for the East Empire Company. Copper, hammered copper jug. Maybe it's, maybe it has archeological significance. I'll tell you what, I've also got a bunch of archeological things I found from archeological sites, but I think I left them in the Thieves' Guild. I probably should talk to this man about them. Okay, Orion? Hmm? I found the artifact you wanted. It was uh, a little underwhelming, but ah, splendid. here you nice go. Nice find, my friend. Here's a little something for your efforts. I'll go ahead and display it. Okay, that's nice. Thing is, I've got... Okay, dude. I... Greetings. Oh, where should I put up displays? I've, I've already, I've already sort of looked around. What's next? Very simple. You keep doing what you are doing and stop in here from time to time if you find anything interesting. I've got. Have a look around and find a spot to display it. In addition to displaying the spoils of your adventures, I will commission and build exhibits based on those exploits. Oh. Anything of relevant consequence can be inspiring to the people. Okay. So this place is is not just going to be a museum of past history, but sort of almost a bit of a personal museum to me. I mean, I'd sort of already noticed that in some ways it was a a little a delicious strange. Down the hatch. Okay, forgive my friend. Um, okay, then. Farewell. Yeah. The, look, it, the other thing is, there's a room up there. I can't even remember where it was. I can get to it through a secret passage, and I can get to it from the outside, but it needs a key, and I don't have a key. Is that your room, or could I borrow it? Because it did look nice. Yes, it did. I'm also wondering if I can pick some of the plants there, or is that going to once again cause Inigo's brain to fly out of his nose? See, it did require... This is slightly annoying. Okay. I hadn't actually picked everything. Nice. Are you... Are you good? All right. Apparently he's good. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. no leave, leave it on. I, I want to... Harvest is what I want. Uh, nah! I'm missing. Yes, I am. A trained assassin, and I can't... So... <sighs> oh! I've already harvested that, that's why. Okay, just... You know what? This is not important. This is not important. 
We've delivered what we came to deliver. And I'm no closer to figuring out how to find a key for that area upstairs, which makes me think it's not for me, it's for him. So I still need to get a house. To be honest with you, I think I want a house anyway. Owning a house is a status symbol. Yes, it is. Look, I know it's ridiculous. I, I didn't have much hope, but I had to check. Sometimes the people of Skyrim are very, very lazy. Yes, they are. And they might have just not got round to moving her yet. I wonder if there's a family tomb around here. Look, I don't know why I've got this urge to take her skull. I just do, okay? I, it's there. It's not overpowering. But seeing as we were in the neighborhood I thought hey why not right okay. there was a tingly sound right so sword of the crew blessings to you the divines are listening <gasps> wait 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 why is the mace of the crusader here mace of the crusader should not be here the mace of the crusader should not be here. The sword should be. Why is the mace here? And why is it... Something is wrong. I'm supposed... What is that bloody sound? I'm supposed to be finding... One of those... Weird chest things that needs me to be blessed and inside there I would find the sword but it's lying on the ground mocking me it's there why order of the nine divines the valor and courage of courage of Pelinal white strake is nothing short of legendary, and his legacy lives on in the relics of the Eight Divines. Ages after his death, the Knights of the Nine sought to retrieve his relics. Does it not bother you? Relics of the Eight Divines. Ages after his death, the Knights of the Nine sought to retrieve his relics. And so they did, but only for a time, because strife and pride tore the Order asunder. Generations later, the Order was reformed and relics regathered in an effort to put an end to Umaril the Unfeathered. At the end of the Great War, the relics were brought to Skyrim to preserve them, sealed in chests such as this, to only be opened by one who bears the will of the Divine. But we know the will of the Divine. Let's use that one. Hello? The blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. How may I help? Is it, is it this chest? Is that what's tingling? Right, now, but I need... I think it's RK. Stendar... Oh, okay. What's there? The, 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 the mace is supposed to be... The mace is supposed to be... In... In... Uh, Fort Sunguard. And I'm supposed to need... Zenithar to get... See? I got it! The Sword of the Crusader! It's big and it's... I'm going to say red. Okay. But... It's also there. It... It's a trick, isn't it? Everyone's what it's a trick. It is slightly worrying. All right, well, we've got, we've got a sword. The mace is Zenithar. Yes. They look very authentic. 
Yes, they do. All right, let's let's take Zenithar, and then if we're in that neighborhood, I can pick up the mace. They're not going to go out. We could come back here at night and, you know. This is freaking me out a little bit. Are they fakes? They could be fakes. They could be replicas, couldn't they? What is that bloody noise? Is that like the sound of the gods? Because it's damned annoying if it is, okay? You know what? We'll come back here sometime late at night and help them clean up. Oh, do you think we should just deliver the sword whilst we're here? It, it's... Sword of the Crusader. It's pretty damned big and pretty damned heavy. I'm assuming, and this is just an assumption, I am assuming there's a place for it in the museum. Okay, so these archaeological fragments that I find, I can sort of piece together and rebuild old relics and artifacts. Interesting. And I can make replicas of certain items so that I don't have to display the real thing. Because I have noticed when I put my stuff up to be displayed, it does not display the stuff I've got as um, favorites, which is useful. Although one problem now is I've absolutely no idea whatsoever where I can find, like, for example, the Sword of the Crusader. I mean, we've got some stuff. Is this one of the ones I've activated myself? Probably. But some of the stuff gets placed automatically, like the glass and the dwarven. I would assume the... Crusader stuff is probably somewhere a little more. I am standing in the home of a hero. Yeah. Oh, Armory South Hall, Lower Gallery. Where was the place with the skulls? Because I think all the skulls of God. Oh, the skull of the. Ancient Traveller thing's gone as well, I think. Cloak of the Crows stayed. There was a skull of the Ancient Traveller. You remember the Headless Corpse? I... have no idea where the hell anything is. I really have... no idea where to find anything. This is going to take... Well, it's going to take years to figure out, isn't it? It really is. You know what? I've delivered yet another item here. I'll find it eventually and be able to look at it and say, aren't I awesome for getting that? In the meantime... Uh, okay, in the meantime, let's figure out how the hell we get out of here. If we ever open that place up to the public, we should probably put a warning on the door. Telling people that they should probably bring supplies, perhaps rope, and other items they might need in case they get lost and are not found for several months. Well, at least the weather has improved. Oh. I forgot all about that. That does remind me I'm still carrying Meridia's beacon because it won't let me put it down. And I'm afraid it's not going to let me put it down until I put it where the Daedric Prince wants me to put it. And I know that's going to get a few rude snickers. Yes, I can hear you back there trying to suppress the giggles. <sighs> Sh 
Should we just check it out and see if we can plonk this thing somewhere and be on our way? I mean, ordinarily, I'd be thinking, hey, I have a beacon that belongs to a Daedric Prince. This is valuable and cool. Well, I still think that. It's just... There's also a second voice going, yeah, you're carrying something that's attracting the attention of a Daedric Prince who's told you to return it somewhere and you've not. They may be getting a tad impatient. It's just, yeah, it's just up here. We just... Pop up there. Oh. Hello? I've been invited. Uh. Oh, Talscar! Ah, smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good place to play a song. It possibly is. What are you doing here? Why, to perform for my common man, of course. Why should only the courts and inns of wealthy towns be given the gift of music? Uh, because they can afford it. Good day. Next daft question. Although you'd probably get on with my friend uh, Inigo here. You could... Okay, well, it can't be too dangerous. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals. Their crafts and their hearts. What? If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Is somebody attacking my horse? It's a cave bear and it's a... Attacking! Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I heard her voice again. Although, I, I have to be honest, she was wittering on about something about love and the temple being ruined. Then I thought she summoned a bear to attack our horses, but I think the bear was just there. Okay, hello! I've returned your beacon. Well, I, I haven't yet returned it, but I, I have it. Would you like it back? Is there a reward? Okay. Is that one of those? That's one of those. Yeah. Okay. What am I going to suddenly know how to do now? Fury! I now know how to shout in fury and still have no idea what that means. Well, I know what it means to shout in fury. Well, to be honest, it's usually mild irritation, but occasionally, like for example, when somebody whittles in my water skin, I do get the urge to shout in fury. Uh, that is where the light is coming from. Hello? I, I can't remember what I was supposed to be doing. Returning it, I know. I, I remember that. Where, where was it? I found a strange gem, and other world voices commanding me to bring it to Mount Kilcreeth, which is here. Bring the beacon to Mount Kilcreeth, which I've... Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide you toward your destiny. Uh, I've already got a destiny, thank you. I just came to basically get rid of this thing. Did you want me to... Okay, I just put it here, yes? And then we're good. Okay. Whoa! No! Ground! No! I want to go... I was about to say I want to go down, but I it want to... It is time for my splendor to return to Skyrim. That's nice. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. Now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. Um, that's not really my fault though, is it? Please don't drop me. 
The necromancer Malkarin defiles my shrine with vile corruptions, trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. That's terrible. Worse still, I he think? uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the Defiler. Um, I'd love to, but, um, t doesn't really sound like I have a choice in the matter. I'll do it. Tell me about the artifact. Uh, this is, ch uh, look. I'm very busy, and I gotta tell you, I'm not really a champion kind of person. Could you find someone slightly more, you know, someone in shiny armor, that sort of thing. That sounds like the sort of person you need. But a single candle can banish the darkness of the entire void. If not you, then someone else. Uh, uh, My beacon is sure to attract a worthy soul. But if you are wise, you will heed my bidding. Uh, that Go sounded now. a bit like a the threat. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. That definitely sounded a little bit Malkarin like has forced the door shut. a threat, didn't it? is my temple, and it responds to my decree. Okay. I will send down a ray of light. Guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. Right. I've got to get... Okay. Okay! I'm falling! I'm... Not dead. You know, you are remarkably unfazed for somebody who's just witnessed his friend whooshed up into the sky. Okay, look. We're supposed to go in there, I think. It's a temple. And I know I've got a rule that says I don't go in dark, dingy, dirty places. Although, let's face it, I've amended that rule with uh, the words, unless there's something I want in there. And I don't actually think there is anything I want in there. There's probably a lot of things I don't want. However, I do have another rule. Not sure if I've mentioned it, but my other rule is do not annoy Daedric princes. Especially ones that can just lift you into the air at will and, more importantly, drop you. I mean, she didn't say I had to do this. She kind of said, it's completely up to you. It's your choice. But if you know what's good for you, you'll do it. It was that kind of a conversation. And I generally know what's good for me. Well, I think I know. All right, let's get changed. No, I really, I really do need a portable tent, don't I? I, I, I want to be uh, wearing something a little more appropriate for dark and dingy. And I think this is it. That and the fact that actually having a face mask at this point when entering dirty places seems like a benefit. All right. So... Let's get this over with as quickly as possible so we can get on with what we're supposed to be doing. Astrid's going to kill me. How do I explain this one? Well, you know, I was on my way to do the job and a Daedric Prince arrived and whizzed me off into the air and says, do this or else, kind of. She's having enough trouble with the concept of Sithis and the listener. I probably shouldn't mention my relationship with... Nocturnal. It is really dark. Yeah, that's a body. I think I'm going to be taking night vision. Desecrated corpse. Okay. A desecrated corpse. 
corpse, why has somebody desecrated it? She did mention necromancers. Yes, she did. Which probably means zombies and things. Yeah. Let's just... Oh. Are you... Are you seeing a kind of black smoky thing? Not from my torch, but like... Oh, that is not a good sign. No, it's not. Really, really... Not happy about this. I see candles. I'm near a candle. Yeah. I am thinking of taking the night vision potion. But I find myself always looking. Okay, do not take too long. I won't. Always looking for an alchemy table. I know it's a temple, but don't they often have alchemy? You know what I should have used? I should have I should have known this. When we were in solitude and was in the alchemy shop selling some stuff, I should have just used the the table and chugged a ton of potions. They'd still be good now. Yes, they would. I'm reluctant. Oh, hello. I am reluctant to just chug a night vision potion now, knowing ten seconds after I do, I will almost certainly find an alchemy table. Oh my god, it's dark. Oh my god, it's really, really stupidly dark. I'm, an, I'm using my torch book light. And it's still dark. Do I need linen for anything? I don't think I do. I'm sneaking around with a light on my belt, but I'm actually reluctant to put the light out. What was here? I think that opens the hat. Probably. Or shoots me in the head or smacks me with a trap. No. Oh. That was in a go. That was in a go. This, see, these things look like... For a second I thought that was a, a dead person's leg sticking out. Ancient Nord sword. Septins. Um, yeah. One problem is I don't always know what the value... Eastern Dwemer War Axe. Don't mind if I do. Let's Okay. So far it's just a creepy dirty I mean it's just creepy and dirty. It's not Well there's nothing jumping out the walls going Bleh. says double checking and I've turned the light on and nothing's gone bonkers all right in you go come here in you go come here I 
actually, I've just realized I'm using the wrong weapon. I want to be using silver. Why have you taken damage? It's the rolling thing, isn't it? Stop doing it then. Stay there. You didn't say anything. Come back safe. I will. Oh, and more importantly. Okay, I will entertain myself until you need me again. You don't need to entertain yourself. You could just, um... Stay there. Is what I want you to do. I just... I was putting my weapon away to tell you to not get any funny ideas about going mad. You know what? I'm... N I, I was about to say I'm not going to find an alchemy uh, table, but you know, at this point... I don't care. I'll waste the potion. I've got two more. I've got one predator vision potion, but I really do want that when tracking... When tracking the target I've got. Oh, this makes life so much easier. Okay, I think I have to uh, manipulate that. She said guide her light. Yes, she did. Guide her light. Okay. Don't step. See where the shadows are deepest. Alright. This door requires a key. Uh, I'm almost freaked out by the lack of horror. I mean... Beyond the disgusting dirt and terrible decor. All right, let's let's do this. Activate pedestal. What's going to happen? Oh. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm being a little paranoid for no real reason. Oh my god, my light doesn't go very far at all. That's I've got my light source on. I've got two light sources on now. Good. I hope Meridia's reward is worth it. We are doing her quite a service. Yeah, do you think she's going to reward us? I mean, it sounded more like a kind of a she'll reward us by not murdering us. Kind of thing. Which, which is, you know, and it's a Daedric Prince. It's a pretty good reward. But. Okay. Stay here. Yeah. Okay. Don't take too long. Uh. I'm. Oh, God. Oh, right then. This is bad. In a go. I don't think we're, um... I don't think we're stealthing this. No, I don't. Okay. This is dark, right? This is really dark. Oh, man. God, at least... Three floaty things. Four floaty things and something wandering... Oh. My. Yeah. Right about now, what I need is something that explodes. I also think I could pro oh god they don't last long but I really could do with something that makes me regenerate health resist magic and does a gazillion other things oh right yes they are not going to be vulnerable to 
potions, uh, poisons. No, they're not. All right. So, this only gives me a minute and a half of resistance, but I'm taking it. What does this do? Uh, resist fire damage, plus regenerate stamina. Resist fire, probably good. Resist poison! Shock! Yay! Um, frost! You never know what we're gonna face. Alright. So. Okay. They do look like they're facing away. Can I end one of them and then have Inigo join me? Really corrupt as yet, I can pick their pocket. Go! They've seen me, they've seen me! Here they go! Here they go! They've seen me, and they're shooting, and they're shooting. You shoot back, shoot back. Yep. What? What was that? What did you say? Okay. Are they, they're still, oh God, they're still shooting. There's lots of them. Okay. Okay, that didn't go too badly. Actually, I'm still hearing something. I got three of them before they spotted me. Oh, Inigo, why are you stood there? I did call you, didn't I? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. All right, stay. Right there. Okay, do not take too long. Uh, steel arrows and hunting bows. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I do not enjoy waiting. I've been gone ten seconds, not even that. My god, you're impatient. I'm checking the, for want of a better word, bodies. I guess in this case, a better word would be puddles. Right, let's buy off. Light vision on. I'm still hearing more of them, but oh, that was not. Maybe we should check out. Okay. I think there's something up there. Yes, indeed, of which there are many. Stick to the sh- Ah. Is there anything in there? No, to go. Oh, we can, uh, we can check for loot. Loot. Later. Uh. I have a feeling we're going to get up there. I also have a feeling when I activate something, all these walls are going to drop and things are going to come out and try and eat my face. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's just check. <sighs> oh, okay, I almost hit an urn. That's where we're going. Right. Next door, also, let's get in the go in here. Okay. Here we go, next door. Uh, I'm not actually seeing a way through. I'm not seeing a way through in a go. I am not. Oh, okay, don't go near the beacon. It's dangerous. Ah. 
When you return, I think. Think. Oh no, I'm wrong. All right then. If that's not how I was supposed to do this, then uh, what am I missing apart from a really good light source? Oh my god, my night vision's run out. The night vision has run out already. Oh god. Yes, this is going to be... It's going to be something really obvious, isn't it? It's going to be something monumentally, disgustingly obvious. And I'm going to kick myself for not seeing. Can I, can I get through hit? I can't get through hit. I cannot get through here. All right, in you go. I'm open. Oh. Okay, in you go. There's a... A lot of horrible things coming this way. I think they've seen me. By a... Oh. oh, they've seen me. They've seen me. In you go. Shoot them. Kill them. Whoa. Running. Close the door. Oh, God. No, 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 no. In you go. Shoot them in the back. Shoot them in the back. Before they shoot me in the back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Silver sword. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Silver sword. Good. How are we doing? In you go. Oh, God. They've turned to face it. Oh, no, they've not. No, they've... Oh, my God. That's... In you go. Didn't I whistle for you? I mean, I don't want to sound like, you know, like I'm telling you off or anything, but that would have been a perfect moment to come and, like, help. You know? Where's he gone? Dude, what it? Okay, I'm coming. You keep saying that, but you're not. And um, there's a there's a there's an important distinction between those two states. Okay, you got stuck. You got stuck. All right. Okay. Right. I'm gonna tell you to stay there. I will be here oh when you return. God. Oh. Uh. In you go. I can't see a damned thing in this place. They are going to see me before I see them, so... Just come. Come with me. Me. Okay, I found a door. I found a door. I found a door. That's... Ooh, aquamarine. Something or other. What was I looking for? All right. Okay. Oh, my God. It is ludicrously, insanely dark. Right, come here. Come here. Come here. Come, come, come to me. You're in the shadows. Okay. Do not take too long. I'm not. You're coming with me. I'm just opening the door and peeking through. door. Come on, in you go. Come on. Yep, nice one. Here in the dark spot. Come back 
safe. Shadows. Okay. I'm in the shadows and can't get seen. But I can't. See. Oh no! There's a. There's another passage. There is another passage. There's also a chest. In you go. I am with you. you oh. Stuff. Stay. I will be here. There. When you return. Uh. Somebody has put a corpse in a very big bowl. Not a good sign. I'm just nipping across there. Was that a? No, it's a plant. It's a plant. I'm freaking out over vegetation. I have a feeling. Yes, 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 yes. I am with you. Yeah, don't be with me. Oh, or corrupt shape. There's another one behind. I heard you. Okay. I am going to miss this. Okay, that sounds ominous. 